Hi everyone and welcome to Valley Crafty Corner. Um, my camera angle is a little off today, so sorry about that. I've been doing so many scrapbook projects lately just because I'm feeling really, really good. Um, I've done a few of the National Scrapbook Day um, challenges that are on for the rest of the week. Um, so I'm doing some of them. I've done three cards for Studio Calico, which are down below. And I've also done a few layouts for the two-piece challenges uh, for their National Scrapbook Day. But I haven't done process videos for them. I just wanted to, to have a less stress-free or a stress-free um, scrap. I just wanted to just do whatever and not worry about the camera rolling and making mistakes. Because sometimes when the camera's on, I feel a little pressured to make um, the layouts perfect. So with the camera being off, I didn't feel pressured. I could just be artistic and just do whatever I wanted to do and have less stress about it. So today, I have my Studio Calico kit that came in for me, and I have the Project Life kit as well. So I'm going to share that with you today, and I know quite a few other people have shown it. Um, I also have a few other things that I got as well. Now, here's kind of a side note. Um, I joined the 50 Projects page, uh, Facebook page, um, like Nicole Jones 911 had. Um, I just found I was accumulating a lot of scrapbook supplies, and I wasn't using them. So with this uh, 50 Projects Facebook page, you're supposed to make 50 projects before you actually purchase anything else. So this add-on stuff was purchased um, on the 26th or 27th. I can't remember what the release date was that came out on this. And I joined the 29th. So this was before. So this is actually the reason why I joined because when I saw the total at the end after I said yes I wanted to purchase and my credit card went through, I kind of went, Oh crap, I shouldn't have bought so much. So this is probably one of the reasons why I joined. So uh, the first thing on the add-ons is this. This is the stamp press. Now I must not, either I was on a lot of drugs when I came home from the hospital and I didn't read, but oh my god, this is freaking enormous. This is a stamp press from Fiskars. And just to give you an idea, this is 7 inches by 5 inches. Now, obviously, I did not read the uh, de um, the description on the bar because this is freaking crazy huge. I hope you can still use this for some of the um, smaller stamps uh, because, wow, I did not know it was that big. I was kind of thinking it was going to be like a small, like, maybe 4x6 one or like a 3x5 or something like that. But this is crazy huge. So, I don't know. I might not end up using it. I don't know. We'll see. But it's pretty freaking big. Okay, so I haven't opened anything. This is all brand new to me. So, I got a whole bunch of the Hero Art Shadow Inks. So I've got the Pale Tomato, which I really like this color. It's kind of a ready pink. Uh, the Soft Pink. Green Hills. And I really wanted this one. This one's charcoal, and it's a really dark gray. And this is Soft Yellow. So I've been collecting uh, the shadow inks just because they stamp so so well. I really, really like how they stamp out. So I've been kind of collecting them. And then I have these two colors as well. This one is Soft Cantaloupe. And this one is Soft Apricot. So I'm not sure if these are new colors or not. Um, like these ones, I'm not sure if they're new colors. I know this one is a new color. I don't think this one is. I know this one isn't. I know this one isn't, and I know this one is a new color. So I'm not sure about these five, whether they're the new ones or not. Uh, but I really wanted to get some nicer variety of colors. Um, so this is also an add-on, and I can't remember what this is. Oh, these are the current Project Life 3x4s. And I've seen a lot of people showing these, so it says current, um, location, date, um, loving this, and it's got like all these little 
like things on it. And this one's got AM, PM, reading, watching, photo here. So just some really cool ones. So those are the current 3x4s. And then I think these ones are just the grid cards. Yeah, these ones are just the grid cards. So this one has a faint polka dot. And then there's some line, diagonal, le like ledger style, and then some dotted ones, and it just kind of repeats. And then the back side has got some other ones here. So I just wanted those for um, if I wanted some quick journaling. So that's those. And this is also an add-on, although I'm not 100% sure what it is. Oh, this is the Nina Solar White cardstock. Um, I wanted to, it's just all plain white. Um, I don't have any of this cardstock. I have some thinner stuff, but if I want to do some coloring, like Copic coloring, not that I have a lot of Copics, uh, but it's not supposed to bleed through. So I'm going to try it on uh, maybe a layout. But anyway, that's what that's for. Just some really thick white cardstock. Oh, and here is the other stamp press that I bought. Apparently, this is the one I was thinking of. I don't know why I got the other one. Um, so this one is more like the size like I was thinking. This one's probably like a 4x6. Uh, yeah, this one's more like a 4x... Actually, 8 about eight by six and a half so it's a little bit smaller a little bit more compact and then i got these as well these are easy mount tabbed stamp storage panels and i have some stamps i just got some stamps from ronnie um in a rack and i'm glad i got these because the one they're not um staying in the little protector very well so I'm going to put them on here and then they'll be able to stay a little better so that's why I got those well kind of hindsight 2020 and I have some other stamps um, that are not staying very well so I thought maybe I would put them on there and they might be a little better so this is the project life and we got some of these hipster die cut pieces and Again, a lot of people have shown these because um, everybody in the States usually gets their kits quite a bit before um, us in Canada do. So there is a lot of like vellum pieces. I'm just going to spread some out so you can kind of see. There's quite a bit in here. So maybe... Uh, I'm not going to show you too many of these, but it's got like some cool little things. Um, uh, Sandra from Oh Snap Gonzo, she showed a lot of these in detail. So uh, if you want to see her face or her YouTube, she's got a lot of these on her on her page. And then there's the stamp set, and I really like these two little people here. And um, there's no nine because the six can be turned upside down for a nine. So. It's got one through eight, and then nine would be there. And then this nice and, and then we can, I like that stamp set. And then another kind of like burnt orange alpha, which is similar, well, the same as these ones here. I have not um, done very much Project Life. I'm really behind on it. I just printed off the rest of my photos for April, so I think... I have, I think, three weeks to do for April, and then I still have all of May to do. So just because I was in the hospital, I didn't do any Project Life or anything like that. So I'm really behind. So instead of doing, like, a process video like I have been doing um, in the last couple of times um, during my Project Life, I might just do um, my Project Life, get it in the book, and then kind of continue on. And I'll show you, like, what I get done with that. But it's just really hard for me to get caught up right now. And I think Project Life is one of those things where, oh, pardon my crinkling, 
Um, I think Project Life is one of those things that if you don't keep up with it, you could get really behind really fast. Like, I'm about six, no, I'm probably four weeks behind right now. So, um, you know, just maybe keep that in mind if you don't see any Project Life uh, videos from me for a while, just because I'm really behind. So, I saw Sandra showing these, and um, these all have, like, um, different backsides. So when I show you the front, I'll just flip it over here on the backside so you can kind of see what it looks like. And maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit. Oh, am I? It won't zoom in. Okay, so I guess so much for that. So this one here is embossed or debossed or whatever you want to say. I'm not sure if it'll pick it up. But let's just see if we can pull it a little closer. It's, it's really hard to see, but it is embossed or debossed. You can tell from this side it is. So there's that one, and then this one is the same thing. You can tell from this side that it is. So there's those, and then um, I, can't, I don't think we got one of these for April. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we did, which I don't... I like to put them in my project life. Um, I usually have one for the month, but I mean, it's okay because I do have um, some calendar ones. I'm not sure where they are at this particular moment. I think they're in here. But we do have some calendar ones, but I like to keep the calendar in um, my project life just so that if I ever go back um, and look at it, then it's got the calendar on it exactly how that month was for the year. So there's the main one. On the back side, it's a color. This one's got some anchors on it. On the back side is the same thing, but just plain. And this one says, you are loved right now, daily routine, perfect impression, hello, uh, or hello perfection. It's got a whole bunch of words right on it. And then the back side, it, it's flipped this way. And then this kind of sunburst pattern. And then it's this way, these hearts, which are really pretty, and then this grid pattern, this kind of speech bubble pattern, and then it's this way, this arrow, and you make me so happy, and then blank on the other side, this kind of gradient one, love life. And plain on the back side. Random fact. And then it's this way on the other side. And then this one. And it's like that on the other side. And this one that says who, where, what, when. And then it's the other way on the other side. I like the fact that they're doing that. Because some of the cards that were in the previous kits um, were all maybe um, put this way. And I don't have the page protectors that have the 3 by 4s that go this way. So it was really hard to use um, some of the ones that they sent in the kit. And I would always end up having to use the back side, which was just plain, which that's fine. Um, but it would just be nice if they made them kind of universal. So that's why I like that they're doing it both ways now. And this one has a, like, a gradient blue to green. And the same on the other side. And this one says, you are my sunshine. And then it's this way as well. And then a speech bubble. It says, you are so loved. And then it goes this way as well. Simple and real. And again, it flips. Um, do what you love to do. So it's morning. Afternoon, evening, and then this one that's a Dear Lizzie that says love you to the stars and back. And then it's just this kind of plain old kind of looking uh, background on the back side. So I really like those cards. And then there's these 4 by 6s which this is a really pretty pink. And then the back side it goes this way. And I really like this camera. It's got a really tiny chevron in the back. And then again, it's flipped so that the camera is the other way. 
And then this one can is scored down the middle. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it's scored right by my thumb there. And so you can fold it in half. This one says real life. And it's just got that little pattern on the back side. This one says hello there. And then it's obviously flipped. And then this one's got month, year, and then the days of the week, and then notes. And then obviously it's going to be flipped this way. So I like that they're doing that now. And I, I almost wonder if it's one of those things is as they're developing their project life, they're kind of figuring out what's working and what's not working. And I really like the fact that they're doing that. So thumbs up on that Studio Calico. Although some of the other things that you're doing I'm not totally agreeing with, but of that one I agree with. So here is the kit, and I know, again, a lot of people have shown this. And pardon the crinkling. Oops. Oh, and I missed these. I guess these are in the project life as well. Um, there's these little itty-bitty stars, and I'm not going to pull them out. And then there is these little flags that I just saw um, Sandra show. So there's this one that's got some little gold, gold flecks in there. It's really pretty. And then a navy blue one and then this white dot one. So that's the Project Life kit. So I'm just going to move this off to the side. those out of here. And just so you guys know, um, yes, I did join that 50 Projects Facebook page um, where you have to make 50 projects before you buy something. Um, because I've subscribed to the Studio Calico Kit, that's the only thing that I'll be getting per month. And um, when I mean um, that's the only thing I'll be getting, there'll be no add-ons. I'll just be getting the Project Life and the Scrapbook Kit and nothing else, like no add-ons, just the main kits, and then that's it. And I kind of think that'll be a way for me to work in some new products and just kind of um, be using up my stash as well. So on the first part of the scrapbook kit, there's these little gold sequins. They're really flat. And... I like how they're doing the washi tape on the glassine bag so that we can reuse the glassine bags. And then there's these like resin stars. So they're like orange and like this pinky color. They're kind of neat. Um, they might work with some of the papers. That orange one I'm not too crazy about. The pink one's kind of cool. And then there's these um, labels in a navy print. And I'm just going to pull some of them out here because we've gotten these before. And Crafting Kate, she was showing hers and she was showing how they're not quite cut right. Like here's a perfect example. Like it's not cut quite right. And I totally agree with her. Like if you're going to spend that money on a kid, it would be nice to have them cut properly. And then the back side is this kind of airmail looking tone to it. So I kind of agree with her. I mean, if that was the case, then I would have, you know, got the printing cut files and cut them out on my silhouette. And it probably would have been a lot better. So that's kind of disappointing. And then these are some flare badges. And so there's this, uh, pardon me, pink constellation one, and then this anchor one. And Sandra and I totally agree. Like, I have no need for these anchors. I lived in landlocked Alberta. Like, I have no probable need for anchors. And we don't own a boat, and we don't really do too much on the water other than going swimming every now and again. So, um, I'm not sure what I'll do with those. I told Sandra she should make a layout um, with anchors, ex you know, kind of explaining why she doesn't like them or why she can't use them. So, I might have to 
you know, challenge her to that because I um, am the same way as her. It's not that I don't like anchors. I just have no need for anchors in, um, you know, my everyday kind of life. So I might challenge Sandra to do a layout on uh, some anchors just to make things more interesting. So we have some hemp cord here, which I don't think we've gotten before. At least I haven't. And I'm not sure. It looks like it's almost like a gradient color. So let's see how that works out. And here's some alphabets. And I have these ones already in my stash. Um, and I haven't opened them. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how I can use these. And... What is this? Oh, this is that little geotag with the um, little heart. You can see that. And everybody's showing how thick they are. They are quite thick. So, yeah, they're probably, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, if not um, a quarter. Well, I wouldn't say they're maybe a quarter of an inch, but yeah, it's that little heart fits right in there. So, it's kind of interesting. My kit was packed with absurd amount of care by Lauren, so thanks, Lauren. And then here's the little uh, little kit. And I usually put these in my Project Life Kit as well as a picture of all the stuff that I usually get. And I stamp the date on these. If I don't even just do a picture, I'll just stamp the date on here. And then this is a cute little stamp set by Amy Tangerine, and it's got this so you can put like this rocks this sucks this is awesome or something like that a uh, little cloud and then this cloud with a heart and then this little tiny camera and then these are from the hipster line and these are called take strips and they're like vellum so some of the coloring is kind of awesome. These are reinforcers, actually. I thought they were like tape strips. But they're reinforcers, which is odd. That's really odd. And there's some shapes over here, actually. Like, these are stars. Can you see that? That's a star. Um, what else is on here? There's little, like, squares. There's, looks like three stars, um, some t like raindrops, some circles, and then another weird little rectangle kind of thing. And then these are like little flyers. That's kind of odd. Reinforcers. I don't get that, but anyway, I like the colors. I'm not sure how you would use that. Oops, this one came off. I'll just leave that there for now. Okay, so paper-wise, these are the Studio Calico exclusives, and this one's like a gradient. It goes from blue, and it starts to get to green right about here, and it's called Dots and Loops. So here's that green, and it moves into the blue. And then this kind of like cloud, windy wave kind of look. Interesting. Um, this one's called Up and Up, and I really like this triangle print. I think this is from the Atlantic collection, and um, I didn't get any of the paper because, of course, I'm on a scrapbook buying freeze. And then there's this constellation. I really like this gray gradient down here, or this little border strip down here. I like that. Uh, this one's from the Lucky Charm collection. It's from Dear Lizzie, and it's called Wild Hearts. And, of course, everybody's seen this paper, and it's got the little hearts all over it. And then this kind of uh, stripey print. This one says, love you more, love you more, love you more. And I've never gotten any else studio paper, and I've always wanted to get it, but I've been very hesitant to buy it. Uh, but I really, really, really like this paper. So it's got you, you know, love you to the moon and back. And then up here it says, love you to pieces, love, love, love. And I really, really like this print. And then this is a really pretty cute print too. It's um, like a blue and teeny tiny stars. And it's got love you lots, so cute, the best, love this, the sweetest, you make me so happy. 
God, I wish I had two pieces of paper of that. Um, so this one's a Dear Lizzie as well, and it's the Love You um, to the Stars and Back, and it's that navy with the blueprint. And then there's also this, and it's called Falling Star, and it's like this um, kind of distressed dot pattern. And this one is The Pier by Crate Paper, and it's called Sunscreen. And I really like this pattern. It's very soft and muted, and it's got little arrows with pops of color in it. And then it's got this kind of random um, ledger kind of piece in there, and I really like that. Um, not too crazy about this side, but I, I again, I really, really like this side. And this is some... Amy Tangerine Yes Please paper, it's called Hello, and it's got these little 6x6 six six quadrants, and then this orange um, graph print on the other side. This one's Basic Gray, it's called Bow Ties, and it's called Red Rover. So it's this orange and red stripe, which I honestly, I don't know if I'm too crazy about. Um, I like this side, it's kind of like a red, just kind of crosshatch. Almost looks like canvas print. And then here is the cardstock. So we got like this navy, this white that's kind of like, um, oh, it's not going to show up, is it? I don't think it's going to show up, but it's kind of like, um, got a texture to it. And then it's the soft pink and then it's great. Um, first of all, Studio Calico, way better um, cardstock choices this time around. Um, I was kind of getting sick. We were getting like a green and a weird blue there for a while. So much, much better cardstock choices. So that is the haul that I have for this month. And um, again, if you're interested in joining the Facebook um, 50 Projects page, um, I will post that in the link below. Um, if you, I always say it's kind of like scrapbook, Scrapbookers Anonymous. Um, if you have like a buying addiction like I do, I see new products and I have to buy them. Um, so I'll, I'll put on my blog post about it as well. Um, you know, hi, my name is Lisa and I am a scrapbook buyer. So um, if you're interested, please join the 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 group. They are a lovely bunch of ladies and um, it definitely gives you a little bit more of a challenge to use up your products than to go out and buy more. I believe I'm on 12 of 50 right now. So, And then also um, I have been posting pictures of um, some pictures of some pictures of pro uh, pages that I've made that I haven't done process videos on. So head over there if you would like to, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.